We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show, where our one rule is to the rightful rule. Huh? 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 I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums. We are continuing with our adventures in Arcadian Atlas. Chapter 1 has begun uh, two years earlier. I forgot what the name of the chapter was. Rambunctious and ridiculed. I, I don't remember. Sorry. I had it and then I lost it. Dantalian Throne Room or Dantalian Throne Room. Oh. Okay. Get to see some of the backstory. An apothecary walks up and says, I've done what I can, your majesty. But the fever has worsened. None of the poultices are strong enough. But he can recover. He might with rest. Don't spare her because it's her husband. Will he recover? No. Uh, he has two weeks. Three at most. Use every poultice, every herb. I don't care what it takes. Do everything you can. Do you understand me? It shall be done, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, about Annalise. Uh oh. I'll find the apothecary. We need proof. Bottle of poison, powdered Adirat, anything. What shall we do, my lady? Hold them off. I need time. But if we can prove she's killing him, this kingdom will be set right. Waltzing into the viper's nest. <laughs> Not the smartest move, Lucretia. And so poorly disguised, your father would be disappointed. My father. And your king, lest he forget. Be proud, you fool. And when I prove this pretender on my throne has been poisoning him, we'll see who's in the viper's nest. Take up arms, quickly! Okay, so we started on the other side as Avashti or Vashti. Whew. I went to bed playing this. I woke up playing this. That's, that's pretty great. I, I'm, I'm excited. All right, so, yeah, there are uh, settings up top to change this to the way we, we want it uh, in, the th in the options. So, uh, very, very cool. All right, let us uh, open unit selection. And it looks like, uh, what level are we? Level three across the board. And we have some of the uh, superheroes with us. So the question is, do we bring her knowing that she kind of takes a tumble? She's also an apothecary, though she was not originally. She was a cavalier with a two-handed weapon. Um, all right. One-handed cavalier, four move, three jump. And a whole bunch of stats besides. All right. Oh, she's like in an action pose. Interesting. Uh, no, I don't want to commence fight. Nope, sorry. That seems to have reset my, uh, my options of my cursor movement here. Which is okay. Just unexpected, so now everything's backwards in my mind again. Alright, we got a Warmancer. That sounds impressive. I think we should bring you along. Uh, gonna bring the, the Rungare. Uh, who knows? Maybe Ida is fine. I mean, she definitely didn't seem to be fine. We have a field medic. And an unspecialized apothecary. Now the question is, what do I do? Oh. Definitely seems like the better play. Again, knowing what her what we assume her fate was. You know what? I don't care. We're, we're going with her. 
I said, seems like a bad play. We have five out of five. I'm okay with that. Let's commence the fight for realsies. Defeat all enemies. Begin the battle. Okay. Uh, I don't know why it reset my options, but it did. But it's back now. Ironically, this is the default, but it keeps resetting me to the opposite. It doesn't matter. All right. Anyway, uh, hopefully that's something that doesn't happen in the future. I guess our ranger is the first to move. Uh, I am being silly bold here. Kind of wish. That's fine. It works. Uh, what does this do? Shoots a rain of arrows in a three tile radius, dealing 50 damage, 50% damage to all caught. All right. Well, Angeline, catch. 33 on the noggin. Weathersby. Shoot my Vashti. Don't like it. Ooh, our war mage is coming. I think our war mage or war mancer or whatever he is is gonna potentially... No. Uh, potentially move here. Fireball dealing a bunch of damage. Burn it. Uh, oh, it's not an AoE? Oh. Oh, I thought for sure it was an AoE. I was getting in position to, like, you know, relax and handle everything. And What do we have? We have Restoring Flask. Go ahead and toss that on Vashti, and then we can move, right? Yeah. Okay, off to the side. Oh, their War Mancer's coming up. Fireball. Oh, Ice Blast back. Okay. And the Apothecary has the choice to make. That's a, Is that a regeneration skill? I would assume. Hopefully we've got some sort of skill that allows us to... Okay. That works. Take it. No. Uh, well, I thought I was going to take it. Apparently, no. Hold on. I kind of wish it didn't reset my position. Okay, though. There it is. Ah. Very nice. Okay. Alright, we're stepping up. We're going after Archerman. Attack twice in the same turn, 55%. Uh, shield triage. Okay, evasion and persist. Clears limp and fracture status from all allies in the area. Interesting. I think I'm going to go with the quick attack here. Alright, one down. Several to go. Alright, yep. Cavalier on cavalier action. Okay, our archer is ready to go. Don't really even need to move for this. Boom. I think, yeah, we'll just stay there. Um, mm, sure, why not? Actually, hold on. They have a war mancer themselves, right? Is that what you are? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to try not to get myself... Like, I don't, I don't know what they're able to do and what they're not able to do, as far as, like, AoE at this stage. So let's, uh, try to avoid getting hit by that. See, now the question is, do we use the Volatile ta uh, Flask to take you down? With your 25 HP... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be bold and do it. I, I don't think it's the right play, but it is what I'm going to do. Alright. You're going to go and you're going to do some pew pew shooty things on her. She should survive. She'll be not having a good time, of course. Oh, our apothecary's like, uh oh. Interesting. Oh, she's, she's actually better off than I thought she was going to be. Alright, that's fine. 
I will be rending your armor. Enjoy. The, the very uh, calming tones. Uh, what kind of skills do you have? Just curious. Twenty evasion bonus that persists uh, doesn't really help us. Well, I mean, if you're gonna move away from me, I suppose we'll do that. All right, we get you with basic traditional beginners karate. We said good day. Very nice. Oh, can't reach that far. It is the dream, but the dream, eh, not gonna work. Uh, did we fully recover after each combat? I'm curious. I suppose we'll find out. The apothecary should totally come back and hang out with us. Ah, oh, he is. Okay. All right. And Vashti. Get you over there and get you slapping a fool. We'll do a double quick attack. Oh, we got a crit. Which only did slightly more damage than our basic. Yeah, that's fine. That's all it needs to do. All right, and boom. it's on his last legs. All right, there you go. Enjoy the cookage. Boom. The war spoils five thousand, whatever that is, and some worn iron armor. Cool. I would like a bit more, like, explosions and, like, fanfare when we finish a, a level, but that was still good. We got, a, like, a, a different jingle sound, a little zoom out. It was, it was nice. Oh. Uh, the la that's the last of them. Oh, she's just here. My father's dying because of that apothecary. You traitor. And now I have the proof I need. Proof? Some putrid slop you extracted from a chamber pot. Don't make me laugh. Laugh all you want, but soon the world will know the truth. You've been poisoning your king. <gasps> Sister, you've come for me. Oh, thank the gods. They want to send me away to Lathe. Lethe? Okay. Really? Really? What what have you done, Annalise? Get back she hides behind her sister. Whoa, get back. Uh what? Sorry, sister, I'll come for you. I'll find a way once I'm queen. But you must be strong. Don't bother following me, Wolf. Your guards aren't as loyal as you may think. She can stab her fingers? Oh, she poked her in the eyes. It's not nice. And you're waiting for what exactly? Follow her now. Huh. Still love your traitor of a sister, do you? Even after that. I want her gone. Tomorrow you'll escort Annalise to Karen Monastery and leave her there till Lucretia's dealt with. Do I make myself plain? Uh, plain? Annalise. Won't the king object to his daughter's exile? King Tyrgen is all but dead. Every day she's here, we're harboring an imminent threat to the queen's life. She shall live. That alone is a mercy. Give her safe passage through Amblamir. Let me know it is finished. Yes, your majesty. You'll need soldiers. 
Conscript some troops for the trip at the recruitment center. Outfit them with whatever items you see fit. Ida, Desmond, and I shall take care of it. Good. And impress on this child what happens to those who commit treason against the crown. Huh. And he's just okay with the king getting poisoned? Oh, and Wolf. Take this to have it tested. If it is indeed poison, I'll have that apothecary worm flayed alive. Mm -hmm. If you insist. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Likely story. You can now access the item shop, recruiter, and tavern from the blue nodes on the world map. Recruit and rename units from the recruiter and equip your units with the latest equipment at the item shop. More at the tavern will unlock later in the story. From the world map, you can also access troop management to learn new skills, change equipment, and more. Tutorials and compendiums are also available with a host of information. Nice. To progress the story, go to the closest red node on the world map. Nice. It all makes perfect sense. Can't you understand me, Desmond? Uh, wasn't paying attention. What? All right, we got 5,000 cash monies. That's just what we're going to call the A with extras. Well, we call those A pluses, I guess, because it's got, like, more it's got that stuff added to it. It's fine. All right, we got troop management, compendium, options, tutorials, save, load, title screen, desk, top. Uh, troop management. We are keeping all of these people, interestingly enough. So we can actually take a peek for the first time about what is going on. We got some promote stuff. They're not going to let me do that right now. What's contracts? Can't do anything with that either. We have inventory. We have uh, skills. And we have equipment. What contracts with you? Can't do that either. Do you have a dismissed troop? I mean, I'm not even going to try it, but... All right, level three, level four, level four, 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 three. Hmm. Uh, wasn't there some blues like location they said to go to, to like tavern or something? Oh, just from here. Okay, okay, okay. So we have an item shop. Oh, it's pretty quick. Oh my God, what are you? Okay. Uh, we have the outfitter. Uh, okay, we could start purchasing items. Increases HP by 10. Do we get... Oh, it does say item details. But sometimes full plate is just too expensive. Half plate, I like it. Or an iron armor. Some light boots, which... Increase our jump. Hmm. We are currently using a wooden sword, but we could upgrade that to a wooden long sword. Eh? Get one more damage out of us. And that's a two-handed one. Yeah. All right, I don't think I'm here to buy equipment right now. I think what I'm going to do is actually check out the recruiter and the tavern. Let's check the tavern first. Let's see what we got going on on the tavern side of life. Don't be shy. Come on in. We got chatter. Oh, a whole bunch of stuff there. Very cool. And we got contracts. We've already accepted all the available... Okay, so these are like little side missions or something? I'm not sure how that's going to work out. All right, let's take a look at the uh, the old uh, chatter here. Former Queen Patricia. Poor woman. Be like she wasn't given a fair shake as queen. After her youngest died, they said she poisoned him out of malice. King Tyrgen never really got along, I suppose. Or so they say. He always loved his children more, especially that Lucretia. Guess I can't blame him. She's easy on the eyes and strong-spirited. But to have Patricia executed, if you ask me, 
He did it just to marry that Venezia woman. Nobler blood in that one. The Illegitimate Sisters. The story of Lucretia and Annalise Belnieve. Sure, I'm sure I pronounced all of that flawlessly, of course. Is a sad one. The two girls often would be heard playing in the Dentalian courtyard. It sounds cooler that way. I'm going to say it that way. I like Dantalion for whatever reason, but Dentalian sounds cooler, so we're going with it. But that was years ago. After marrying the king, Queen Venezia wasted no time in declaring both girls illegitimate. And around that time, rumors began swirling that King Tyrgen was ill. Between you and I, timing seems a little too convenient. Indeed, Dentalians rise. <sighs> the city wasn't much before Tyrgen's war with Volan. The iron and spices in uh, Boltis mi Mountains made it what it is today. As for the tide of war, sorry, as the tide of war started turning to Tyrgen's side, the influx of trade brought many to the capital looking for work and riches. Some found it, and the others, well, you'll likely find them drinking themselves to death. The war is bitter, and while ending years ago, we haven't really forgotten the war with Volan. Day in and out, I still hear stories of families torn apart, young men conscripted just to die in the mountains. When King Caltrine II of Volan's capital city in Sarab died under mysterious circumstances, some say black magic burnt the skin from his bones, and others that an assassin took his life in the bathhouses. It took weeks for news to reach the soldiers. It's still common to hear songs commemorating the boys killed days after King Caltrine II met his end. Their lives caught in limbo between a war that ended long before they stopped fighting it. Oh, that was horrible and also quite poetic. Magical Purge? If you're just wanting a history lesson, that's fine, but don't ask for more than that. Magic is and has been forbidden in Tropis for a long time. And for good reason. Ask anyone in the neighboring hamlets and tell you the horror stories of dark magic. People bleeding from their eyes and mouths, writhing in the dirt as foul creatures crawl from their bellies. Ugh. Such magic has no place here. We ship abominations who practice such things to Volan or Elaith. And good riddance, I say. Channeling natural energies, water, fire, what have you, that's your business, but just keep it to yourself. Okay. Okay, okay. I say, because we have, like, mage-type people. Doesn't seem it's, like, that outlawed or banned. Alright, we got a little bit of backstory, a little context with what's going on. And, finally, I think we're going to go to the recruiter. I think what I'm going to do... Welcome, we've got a fresh batch of able-bodied conscripts and more. I... What are command points? Well, uh... Just in time for promising... Mercenaries... What is this? Your fame as a general seems to be spreading. What do you want to rank up? Oh. Respect training. Vashti, choose a new starting class and regain all class points for Vashti, uh, keeping her current level. Don't forget to reinvest CP into new skills via the troop management. What does that do? That's hints about the types of units you'll encounter and other strategically useful details. Item shop discount. Seller's market. Recruitment discount, unit renaming discount, okay. Arcadian, receive 1,000 Arcadian to spend to ah, okay. towards new conscripts, items, and other battle necessities. Traversal kit, receive one light boots and one wooden shoes. This don't sound useful. Equip on, uh, to equip on a unit's accessory slot and increase traversal options in battle. And finally, power ring and chain lane ring, increase uh, attack options. That's interesting. We have one of these that we can spend. I think I'm going to hold off because I don't know enough about what I'm doing to do it. So, there is that. Uh, who wanted to change their name? Remember, there is a paperwork fee. How expensive is the paperwork fee? Just out of curiosity. 200. And to recruit? Uh, we have the Pariah. Cost 400. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. 
Um, I think I'm going to do all the stuff in the next episode. If if you want to sign up, sign up down below. Um, sign up down below in this episode. If you want to be a named character, I will do my best to include folks. If uh, I think I'm going to do the next episode tomorrow, so you should have time to sign up. If not, if I end up recording before this episode goes live or before I get uh, recruits, I will just make some and or... We will do the name change later on down the line. So, either way, I think that's all fine. Very cool. Um, and it looks like we can grab this person or skip on them. And if we hit new option, they're going to be gone. So, I don't know if I want to hire all new people or just rename the ones that we already have currently. I'm thinking it's probably going to be better to rename the ones that we have. We won't rename any of the main characters. I don't know if that's even an option, but I'm not going to do it regardless. So that's fine. All right. Well, we kind of got to see what we can do. Um, we're set up for the next storyline thing as well. But I believe the next episode we're going to spend some time. Ooh, battle and cutscene. We're going to spend some time uh, doing troop management and whatnot. Or, like I said, if, if I get all the information I need beforehand, I will play around with it myself, get it all set up so... You guys are ready to go, and then if we're going to add, like, any additional people, maybe we'll do, like, one... I'll do that part of it on, on camera or something along those lines. I don't know. Either way, folks, I had a blast playing. I'm super happy that it's finally out. It's finally released after all the years. And, uh, yeah, it's great. It's great so far. Uh, hopefully, the resetting of the, the directional thing uh, doesn't happen again. I don't know. We'll see. I played around with it. Maybe I loaded a save that didn't have that saved. That's possible. But either way... Uh, we have the options to change the controls how we want. They are customizable. They seem to be... I, I don't know if they're fully customizable, but they seem to have a lot of options to do customization, both on the controller and through the keyboard. So that's that's always a win. So that's good stuff. All right, folks. Until the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>